Beloved friends, today we invite you to ignite within yourselves a new brilliant dawn. Let today be a beginning unmet before now. Let your lives show you this brilliant newness and the infinite possibilities available in each moment. Let the fullness you are present to you a sequence of harmonics through the unfolding of the moments of your day that swell in beauty and love rising and may you feel within each of these moments exquisite joy. This is your potential, your birthright, your capacity made manifest. This is love made manifest through your focus and alignment facilitated by you as your allowing. We realize that these moments draw you forth into more and more expansive imagining and aspiration and thus we share them. Yet we share them too because they are intimately real, always available in this now. Each moment is even more than the clear slate you are learning to allow yourself to realize. Each moment is brilliant and so full of beauty in the ways in which you've asked for beauty, simply because that is how it works. Discovering all that is available to you is a matter of tuning your awareness. Awareness is a frequency. The feeling state you might associate or describe in relationship to this frequency are the first manifestations. They demonstrate to you what vibration you have tuned yourself to in the same way that you may have saved in your car or on your radio number one with the jazz station frequency, number two to the national public radio frequency. In this same way you can learn specific set points of frequency and tune to them as you wish. We ask you what are your favorite feeling states? Why don't you ponder this for a moment? We assume happiness will be one of these, perhaps two peace. Yet happiness and peace are like snow to an Eskimo. You've heard that Eskimos have many names for snow, correct? Well this is true for feeling states as well. Many can be named in a general way but the truth is there are many varieties to emotions that are potentially grouped this way and within all of these subtleties each of you have distinct preferences. Some of you like languor. Some of you prefer deep calm. Some of you feel peace as harmony. Some experience peace as accord. You see? These are different expressions so what would be your version of peace and is peace one of the feeling states you most desire? Would it be on your short list that you can tune to quickly and immediately? How does it benefit you to do so? How does this feel to you? When you are peaceful is your mind quiet or noticing particular kinds of things? What are your emotions like in your version of peace? Are they smooth and steady like a still lake or are they wide and spacious like a cloudless sky? These are some of the nuances of power within your consciousness. Each of you have the ability to learn to tune your consciousness to bandwidths you intentionally choose. The point is this. What do you wish to do with all of this? What is the purpose of experiencing more power for you? We have talked for days about power, its imminent presence in your life and the different ways you could open up your experience of this. But the bigger question is what do you intend to do with all of this power? We suggest here today some of the different feeling states you might like to manifest. The question then becomes what feeling states serve you? Support your aspirations? We might also say what bandwidths of frequency feel like home to you? Many of you know you are star beings carrying lineages from other times and places. There is this royal lineage, a composite of different strands of love, some angelic, some Arcturian, some Pleiadian some Syrian, some Andromedon, some from Juno and other realms or even other universes. Some of you emanate from the great central sun, not many but a few and regardless of the mix of your being the consciousness you are here and presenting as, you can tune to the energies of home. This is a practice navigated with an open heart and an awareness of your feeling state. Power is the ability to create what you wish. Remember feelings are the first manifestations to occur so you can use them to check in with how it is all going. You could also use feelings to discover your pathway to connecting with the frequencies of home. You can see by the state of your feelings how in alignment with the fullness of you you truly are. The feeling and the frequency of home will, like snow and peace, feel differently to each of you. Meredith likes the humor-filled straight shooting directness of the Arcturians or me, Michael. Other beings have different energy quotients to them and each of you are highly unique. What does home feel like to you? Home is different potentially than friendship. Home may feel like the beings that are friends to you or not but home will feel like you. Do you know this feeling state well? 
Can you create it yet at will? If you learn to do this, this will empower you in amazing ways. You can learn to do this. Each of you have this ability and this ability will nourish you deeply. Not just by keeping you in alignment with all that you are but by tuning to what is your home base, the source of you. The frequency of your own inner resonance and that which harmonically is what you think of as identity. You have a fundamental set of harmonics that is you and this is available to you as a tonality to bring forth well-being and clarity and to nourish you while here on earth. It also informs you in a more pronounced fashion of your innate inherent gifts or capacity of the potential of the uniqueness of you. We encourage you today to learn to find this energy field through tuning your awareness and letting it generate your presence. To do this is an incredible accomplishment of mastery. It is the fulfilled grounding of the larger presence of you in greater and greater capacity on earth. Power in the material is learning to view each and every being large and small as peers, as kindred presences of divine love, as a unique signature exploring and expanding all that we are together. As you begin to tune to the frequencies of home and cultivate your own energy fields with an awareness of this your presence takes on a multidimensional groundedness which far exceeds the way in which you have presented previously. You in your own field are relating to life and perceiving life and the inspiration and aspirations which rise up in your heart are filtered and allowed by the consciousness you are choosing as presence. To operate from the highest level of your own innate divine will is to tune to the frequencies of home. We suggest at this point in our conversations together that you begin to ponder what do you wish to do with all of this amazing power you are beginning to allow, you are beginning to believe in and you are beginning to realize is inherent in the love that you unavoidably, truly are. I am Archangel Michael.